Hello, this is Gata7, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own decompilation project. Now, you're going to need Ghidra set up as I did in the previous tutorial, but you're also going to need DevKit Pro, specifically the PowerPC branch, but I recommend just installing all parts of it just for the sake of having. I'll link that in the description below. Anyways, you'll also need this Python script and the game you have of your choice. So I'm gonna go into Dolphin real quick and I'm going to target a game I know has symbols called Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex. Now typically when you want to select a game you don't want to select just any game but one with the symbols. So if I go to properties file system you can see that I have an elf here that's good that's exactly what we want because this will provide us with the symbols we need so I'm going to extract this file and I'm going to go to desktop tutorial extract the elf and you're also going to want to extract the dole and here we go I just put it here all right now I'm going to just put all the stuff in a new folder and next thing we're going to do is start the disassembly stuff like sudo pip3 install capstone because this actually uses capstone and you can see I already have it satisfied but once you do that you run the script and this will take some time to complete alright and you can see it's done and we now have this massive asm.s file I'm just gonna go ahead and close my current sim info and I also made this notepad for here with section info and this will help you out. I'll put this in the description, this note right here, but I'll explain this in a section. In a second, I mean. So when we open our ASM file, we have various sections, set registers, and code, and data, blah blah blah. Okay, that's cool and all, but how do we navigate this? Well, you see, these things are sections that are here. So, we see we have two text sections. So, that's going, that first one's going to be text, that second one's going to be dot text. Or, I mean, the first one's dot init, the second one's dot text. So, we know for a fact that we can replace dot text zero with dot init. And we know for a fact we can replace dot text one with dot text. Okay, but what about everything else? See, we have four different data sections, but according to our chart right here, there's eight possible datas we can have. We figure out what each one is by loading our program in Ghidra. So I'm going to open up Ghidra. And let's just... Uh, make a new project. I'm going to call this one tutorial. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and drag our elf file in here. Alright, and you can see we have a lot of stuff here, but we need to change this language to gecko slash broadway, which we installed in the last tutorial. And then once everything is all set, we hit OK. So once you import your file, you want to double click it to open it in the code viewer. And configure them now, sure. Might as well just enable it, why not? So expand this window, and you're going to get this pop up, hit yes, and then hit And then after non-returning functions discovered, sometimes you want to uncheck this, 
but I believe you don't need to uncheck it in this case. Now, if you accidentally hit the wrong thing for ana analyze, and then you can do it with this menu here. And over here, we have various different views that I have opened up. If you want any of those views to be opened, you have our Windows tab here. And up to the top left, I have the program tree. Then I have symbol tree. Then I have data types. Then I have function calls, function references, define strings, function call graph. And this is probably one of the most important parts, the decompiler, which we'll get to in the layer tutorial. And then we also have our listing here. So we're looking for the separation of all the different sections. And how do we determine that? Well, first let's see what sections we have here. We have the RO data, C tours, SimTab, blah, blah, blah. So all the stuff we saw earlier. So I think we should start getting our section sorted out. So I'm going to make a new folder, call this ASO. Okay, so we know two sections for a fact that we have are init and we have text. So, and then you also want to make a new folder and call this include. And then we're going to put a text document here and call it macros.inc. And first thing you want to do is take this. And let's just cut that out. Boop. And put it here. This is shared across our files, and one thing you're going to need to do for all our files is put a new line at the end. If not, the compiler will get mad at you for some reason. So now in our ASM file, we have init, and Ghidra finished analyzed, or not. Well, it's getting there. So now what you want to do is the include. You want to do dot include macros dot anc just like this and now we're going to go to dot section so this is dot text and that our first section is dot start so we know if we were to copy from top here so I'm going to do control shift fn home that's what it is for sublime text 2 but basically copy that whole chunk there I copied from my selection to the top of the file and this is our init section simple enough and now we're going to do take care of the now we're going to take care of the text section so open up the text.s oh, dot include macros dot inc And now we're going to go to the next section. And control shift FN, hit home. All right, cut that and put that here. Now this is the biggest section. All right, be sure to save that. Okay, so now with that's done, we're going to figure out what this data section is here. So I'm going to go to this label right here in Ghidra. And let's see what it is. It's C tours. D tours and RO data. So here's the thing, this dole is actually special because this section has things that do not belong to just the CTER section. See if I were to go in here, 
this is within the RO data. And if I go to the end of the section, right here, so this is the last variable here, and it's the start of the dot data right after that. So if we look at our data sections, we completely skip over these two, and what we're doing is we're doing the C tours, D tours, and RO data right in our section zero here before we enter the next one. So I'm just going to rename the dot data zero into dot C tours, D tours, RO data. Normally you do dot C tours and dot D tours and RO data separately, but for some reason our dole here has them. Um, all together now. So I'm just going to call this C tours, D tours, our road data, S, and dot section. All right. Remember the new line. Oh, and one thing we're forgetting. In dot in include macros dot i and c. All right. So now let's figure out what this section is. If we copy this RAM address right here. And go in here. It's the star of our dot data section. Okay, so we name dot data one to dot data. Place all. Data dot s. include macros.inc all right so that so that and now let's see what this is this right here is our s data so now we're going to do s data s data 2 Call it dot s data. Here we go. And now we're getting close to the end. So this is our last segment here. And there's only one thing it should be as data 2. Let's go in Ghidra to see if that's correct. Yes, it is. So now what we're going to do is make a new one. As data 2.s. data. Now we're going to rename dot data 3 to as data 2. There we go. Then we're going to go back here, put it in here, whoops, dot include macros dot inc. All right, and now here's the tricky part. See, BSS on the GameCube is not just BSS. You have SBSS and SBSS2. Some games don't include SBSS2, but some do. So we need to figure out where our SBSS section begins.
and if we go to this RAM address or double click .sbss, it starts at this address here so we're going to search for that and we're greeted with this label that means this label right here is the start of SBSS but do we have any SBSS2 data? no we do not because this game does not have any SBSS2 data so once we go over here we're just going to highlight everything from here to the end and I'm just going to make a new file called sbss.s put everything in here and dot include macros.inc and lastly this should be the BSS section so just cut at this out new folder bss.s and here we are dot include macros.inc and there we go we have all our sections up and nothing in the ASM file I'm not going to save the changes though in case we need them oh hang on a second something tricky here can't forget to put the SBSS there so there we have all the sections alright so I believe this concludes the tutorial this tutorial on splitting up on starting the decompilation project by splitting into sections I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all later see, check out the next episode on how to get our split up sections back into the original code <laughs>